I'm Carl Anthony with AutoSense TV and we're here at AutoSense Brussels 2019 from the Auto World Museum speaking today with Bjorn Meyer. He is the head of automotive semiconductor sales for Sony Europe and Bjorn, uh, so glad that you could join us today. Thank you, Carl. So tell us a little bit about Sony Europe. Give us a general overview of the company. Well, you obviously know Sony from its background in uh, consumer electronics, but we're much more. We as well have a large variety of professional products, which include automotive image sensors, and that's what brings us here. You had mentioned the consumer electronics, and, and I was saying off camera that I had a Walkman growing up, and my dad had the Sony TVs and surround sound growing up, but Sony as a company is a lot more than that. Yeah, Sony is actually the largest image sensor supplier of the world, so we're a large specialized semiconductor company as well. We uh, supply all kinds of markets for uh, auto image sensors, including automotive image sensors, which is a relatively recent activity, considering that that is a very slow market. Now tell us, Bjorn, about your customers. Who are your customers and what are some of the pain points they have and what are some of the solutions that you provide them? Well, obviously we're working with all the big uh, automotive OEMs around the world at various stages of the engagement and then um, most of that would be supplied through the very well-known tier ones that you will as well meet at this show. Um, and the, the biggest pain points that they have is basically making these systems work in um, the most adverse weather and lighting conditions and that is where we're focusing our technology on. So we're improving the low light sensitivity which will extend the range in which you can use the sensors in the dark. We're working on LED flicker mitigation so we are, we're good with um, traffic lights or overhead signs that use pulsed LEDs and that's one of the things that we're showing here as well at our booth. Yeah, let's talk about your booth. You have a beautiful display set up here at AutoSense. Tell us a little bit about what attendees will find if they come up and, and visit you. Okay, we're showing our brand new IMX490, which is um, a 5.44 megapixel automotive image sensor with high dynamic range and LED flicker mitigation feature. That part will ultimately be the spearhead of a whole family of products that will reuse this technology and we're showing the performance of that part in all kinds of automotive standard conditions. So we have, if you look here at the monitors, we have uh, certain lighting conditions in tunnels, um, with uh, headlamps of other cars, with um, LED day running lights on cars, stuff like that. So there is a, there's a lot of very diverse um, use cases for an automotive image sensor and we're trying to give a very balanced, good technology approach to those uses. And when it comes to those use cases, are there any particular challenges that spring to mind? What are some of the challenges that you face every day with these use cases? I think the, the, the biggest one is actually the number of use cases being so diverse and finding a technical solution that gives balanced performance over the large variety of these use cases. So, um, obviously uh, you have bright sunlight coming out of a tunnel or you have very dark scenes with an approaching ambulance that has um, in Germany would be blue in other places of the world might be red emergency lights so these things um, present a lot of different use case scenarios and to find a balanced approach that's what we're here to do and there's a safety component in that as well for consumers to have a vision system that can, like you said, see in tunnels or can identify emergency vehicles. Am I understanding you right that there's a safety component there as well? There definitely is a safety component to this and it becomes more important as these systems will become mandatory and as we're moving into, say, a level two plus autonomy, obviously. And I think the Japanese company culture of a company that is rigorously focused on the quality of its products suits us very well for this automotive market. Absolutely. Now, Bjorn, with this automotive market, it's evolving, it's changing, it's moving rapidly. Where do you see Sony Europe going in the next five years or, or, or ten years? Well, right now we're still at the very beginning. We're drastically improving our footprint. We have uh, increased our team size here in Europe significantly and around the world for automotive. Um, 
I think in five years we would be in a much more stable, established position in the market um, that is closer to the position that we today have in other markets where we are a clear market leader. You have, again, a wonderful display here at AutoSense Brussels, a lot of things for attendees to see. I just want to make sure that we didn't miss anything. Do you have any final thoughts to add? Anything that we should cover that you can think of here at the last minute? I think um, you should understand that Sony is here to stay in the automotive market for imaging. That's one thing that we want to put in everybody's head. And we uh, want to be out there with customers, with partners, being a part of the automotive ecosystem. That's something that is um, a key topic that we're working on and that we are doing stuff outside of image sensors. So one of the things that we're as well showing at our booth is our uh, TOF technology, time of flight technology. We have more than just image sensors to come for the automotive market. In all the things that you oversee, what is your favorite? What is the favorite? What is your most favorite part about your job? I think the depths of technology in Sony is what we really brought me to Sony. It's a company that has um, this Japanese attention to detail and the really, really broad portfolio of technologies. We will make sure we make good use of that in automotive. Well, Bjorn, from all of us here at AutoSense TV, we want to wish you a great event here in Brussels. We want to wish you the best of luck going forward, and we look forward to seeing you down the road at another event. Thank you very much, Carl. Speaking today with Bjorn Meyer from Sony Europe. For more AutoSense TV, like, subscribe, and share.